for you. I'm good. I'm chairman paying for now. Oh, please. Yeah, let me do it. Echo, 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 see, see, me. Oh, buddy! You're hustling now. No way, go play with them. So I didn't your supportive team be there. Nah, nah, what you say? Oh, my, oh 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 my, Hey, what's good? So today I came around the biggest, baddest area, chairman. Oruko Rivia. Big phone, Uncle Sandy. Big up, big up, big up. We don't be big phone. Yo, worry. So I came out here to meet the guy. This is the coolest place you can be when you come to Ghana. When you come to Cape Coast, you can find anything that you want here. Peace out. But I have this brother here who has some beautiful artifacts that I want you to take a look. So take us around. I mean, show me the, the things you get for it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we normally do um, works with acrylic paint, you know, because, um, and this one mostly is directly artwork. Like, we don't use the pencil on it. We normally do the direct painting. Okay. So most of the works that you see, or all of the works, is mostly direct paint. Okay. And you will find some like this, you want on a oh yeah fabric. Oh okay. So this one is tester work and it's normally called collage. Collage. Yeah. Okay. But this is freedom fighters. You know okay. this one representing African. You know how we f how everyone is a freedom fighter. You know because mm -hmm. naturally everyone fights for something. Yeah. True. Yeah. And true is like you have to have the freedom to you know mm -hmm. achieve that aspect of it. Yeah. And put some into uh, from recycling. Oh wow! So, so this is uh, I, I can see this is a biscuit yeah, wrapper. Yeah, that is okay. making use, you know, making the environment clean. So uh -huh. you recycle, and it's also part of the collage work. Okay. okay. Well, um, we have so many works that can also be, you know, um, we do others as well. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And these works, as you see also here, is also manufactured from this shop. These are holders. Holders. Calabash holders. Oh, okay. Yes. So, you, so you hang them somewhere, then you put your stuff. Exactly. Inside. You can push, put your toothbrush, your you know, some can be. Or maybe for you, can, you can put your lighter inside. Oh, some put <laughs> or it can be a flower. <laughs> yeah. Or you know, them are looking at you know, them are, yeah, So okay. at this shop, normally it's, it's properties art, you know, art and craft. Properties so, art and craft shop. Okay. Yeah. So, so I have a question for you. Yeah, bro. Before you draw anything, what inspires you to draw that thing? So, for example, I saw the woman. I mean, the the one with the fabrics saying freedom fight. Aside that, what else motivates you to draw? So come, okay, like yeah. for example, this one, these ones. Explain why you decided to. Okay. So you know, art is life. Okay. And every day you have a different concept coming out. Like in your head, is is creativity. Mm -hmm. You can't be like always coming in hey, the same thing, yeah. Because the brain always manufactures different stuff mm -hmm. each and every time, yeah. So a day I might come and feel like, okay, let me do something relating to music, okay, okay. And that thing is the energy, you know, that energy will inspire you and push you more to okay. focus on more on that aspect. Mm -hmm. A day will come, it's like, oh, let me put something from our local village scenes, okay. And local village scenes, mm -hmm. what depicts the local village scenes. In your ma, you know, you crassy, crassy, in your Tahana Asian pa, what's a star or two a in your roof, Dama, in your oil true, in your name, I'm a minister of consumers, who are these who you feel, or you know, naturally, and I like this village scene too. Aha, and as you can see, art, what makes art also beautiful is is a colors, okay. Mm -hmm. Colors, you know, speaks a lot. So, okay. normally, um, the colors that you choose, it can be one particular work, but the colors, you know, will represent so much. Uh, exactly. Yeah, it will interpret differently for others. Exactly. Uh huh. Exactly. Wow. Exactly. This is, you know, an 
unexpected video. But yeah, I but yeah, but you're doing well. <laughs> I think I have to be doing more of this. Like, I mean, I bump on people. Yeah. And now tell me the, the art business in Cape Coast. What will you say about the art? Is it selling or not? Do we need some support from here, somewhere well, there? That's a dope question. Well, it used to be. It used to be dope out here. But I guess now the business is going far. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, um, it has become known that Ghana, we are known for you know, culture and historical events. So yeah. people are really getting down to it. And as people are getting down on Sunum Penifuno, they've come to notice how important it is. Ah, cash kakra county. Once we start watching what that's like, mm -hmm. why the business side is slow kakra. Oh, okay. Yeah, for now, the why is slow kakra. Because then time you have bars packed around that. Mm -hmm customers and our, our visitors you know they come looking yeah but at this time it's like they mostly pass with the bus to castle and they pass again mm. so unless you create your business online online okay through one customer who buys from you okay who can also advertise for you okay or through our brother you know this work that he's doing mm -hmm. through that yeah we also Somebody get business okay. moving okay. but now honestly like you enter every day now, is it? Yeah, why, exactly. why tight? Why yeah, the exactly. castle, Baba? No. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> How many art work do you do a day? If you, if you decide to, to say, no, today I'm drawing. Oh, we can go like, depend on the sizes too. Because, you know, okay. if you have sizes, even when you look on some works. Yeah, some, some are bigger, some are smaller. Some are smaller. So, depend on the size. Uh, a day, if it's four by four, like four feet by four feet, I can work like three pieces. Three pieces, okay. In addition to some small ones. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And also depending on the work that you are putting on. Mm -hmm. Some works need, you know, before you start, you see, you get the inspiration to start. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But as you get somewhere to, you notice that you are short of yeah. ideas. Idea. So, so you, you have, have to put it down. You refresh. Think again. And add up. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes. Now, so, you are, you are, I see you have Rasta on. Yes, I agree. A lot of Jamaicans come to Ghana and they be like, Jamaica looks like, no, Ghana looks like Jamaica. Now, this question, why do you have dreads on? Oh, actually, um, with my locks, you know, it, it, uh, it goes down to the religion aspect of life, you know. Okay. Knowing the true human of you, like, mm -hmm. It's being said in the Bible that we are trees planted by the riverside. And with trees, you should have leaves. Yeah. Where is your leaves? You have roots. So where is your leaves? Okay. So without the locks, it's like you are incomplete. Mm -hmm. You just need hair. You know, you should leave your hair. So without it, you become, in my mind, it tells me I'm incomplete. Incomplete, okay. And also, yes. Um, Getting me into that position too, apart from the you know the spiritual aspect, it also shows me it's, it used to be our ancient way of life. Yeah. Yes. Because back then there was no machine to rain your hair, mm. there was no razor blade yeah. to cut your. Even the Bible says um, Jesus Christ's hair was what wool, like a wool. Mm -hmm. His body was like a fine brass, but the hair was like a it's like wool. And wool hair are like these ones like where these you ones, can put yeah. pen and stuff in it, yeah. not the silk ones. So, you know, Rasta that's one right. thing, yeah, Rasta I got to right. it. Rasta. Yeah, you so if, you, if you're watching this video right now, I'm going to ask him how you can purchase some of the product that he has here. If you're, if you're watching this, I mean, there's a way he can, you can send it to people outside Ghana. Oh, well, we do it all the time. Okay, so tell us how someone can buy some. And do you have... Facebook pages or Instagram where people can find you. So tell us so that people can look out for you. Yeah, so um, I'm on Facebook, I'm on IG, I'm on Twitter as well. Um, on Twitter, I use Coffee Tea. On Facebook, is Nana Coffee Mekati. And on IG, is King Tiger. King Tiger. Yeah. Okay. So how normally when you can, you know, you can normally find our copies on those pages and you can order you know through through our page or through our telephone number 
which is plus two three three zero five zero seven eight two eight nine six seven so and wherever that you are yes we will package it and nicely and ship it to you okay all right thank you very much for being on my channel this one was just a quick one but at the end of the day the rasta people we're gonna sit at the beach and you know <laughs> <laughs> what my brother is talking about uh, i think he has to conclude it. Yeah. <laughs> peace out <laughs> Hey, what's good? So today I came around the biggest, baddest area. Chairman, Oruko Rubia. Big up, big up, big up. We know we Yo, Ori. So I came out here to meet the guy. This is the coolest place you can be when you come to Ghana. When you come to Cape Coast, you can find anything that you want here. Peace out.